What's up everybody? We're gonna unbox some Ice Falcon Armory gear. We got inside a helm, gorget, and steel-toed boots. Oh my, look at that. I'm building a Mongol kit, and this is the prize piece right here from Ice Falcon Armory. Let's get it all unpacked, and we'll check it out. Oh, that's nice. Check that out. Got the hobnails, no doubt. Nice, firm steel toe. So this helm is used. It was used in a TV show. Basically, it's brand new, though. There's no dings or dents in it. The one thing I did since I opened the box, I rerouted these straps here. We can peek under the chain mail real quick, but there you go. That's your grill. And uh, what I did was I took these straps here. I took the chin strap. I rerouted it from between this, this attachment here. I put it between these two right here. I found, at least for me, that having the strap back one more gives me a little bit of a better securement and I also got a tip that I should put a strap attached to the back that runs around under like my bottom lip so I have two straps that way this one keeps your skull snug back into the back of your helmet so if you do take a hit or something into the helm right here and it knocks the helmet back in your face it sort of keeps that grill off your nose prevents you from getting hurt we got these loops here on top of the padding that's so you can adjust it. You, know, you could tie them down a little bit more and keep the, uh, this bottom part up a little bit off your shoulders if you need to adjust the height of your helmet. So we've got some uh, concussion padding in here, anti-concussion padding. I'm going to add a little bit more here on the sides. Perhaps this was damaged during a blow to the head in the TV show. I don't know. But as I said, this is used, and I'm not too worried about it because our theme here in Pittsburgh is black and gold. I wouldn't mind maybe getting a hold of some gold leather strips here for my attachments. And besides, I haven't tied these on totally yet because, as I said, I'm going to replace those here pretty soon. But as you see, it comes through the helm there. There's a hole where it comes out of the helm, sort of comes back through down there. And through the drape here, there's a little bit of a slot so you can tie that on there. As we're checking out this drape here, let's see. you got real nice quality. Nice quality material. Same here with this quilted padding here. Very nice. As you can see underneath the drape, you do have some attachments there in case you did plan on adding some extra protection. That's where it would go. You have three studs underneath there. Two on the, and the, the angles on the back and one in the rear. Three millimeter steel. Very happy with this. Can't wait to give it a try. So checking out this gorget now, you can see on the inside, the plating on the inside, underneath here, and check out the fastener. So I got a 17 and a half inch neck, but there you go, there's your buckle. Very nice rivets, and even a couple little stylized ones, like right there. And this is what Andre over at Ice Falcon recommends you use with this helm. So this is what I got. And here are the boots. J 
genuine leather, of course, and this is basically what your laces are. Put through that slot there. Uh, you can pull this back. You can pull this back here. This is basically what you're going to do to, if you need them to be a little tighter up top, you pull them back, you tie it here. That way, whenever you put this on it, it sort of pulls this around, makes it a little bit tighter. Same thing with down here. You would pull this back. I adjust it to where it's comfortable for me, but you, you tie this in the back. That way that um, your attachment fitting right here will pull this closer to your foot. Check out the bottom there. See if we can get a view on the inside here. That's the inside. One of the start Mongols, so this is the start of my kit. I'm getting everything else built here. It takes about four to five months, and we will unbox that on this channel as well. Really happy with everything. Uh, I hope you guys like this unboxing video. Leave a comment or questions if you have any questions about any of these parts. Now that I have them, I can maybe give you some feedback. Hope everybody liked the video, and we'll see you out there on the battlefields. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you like these videos, and subscribe for more. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Thank you.